Alright guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to be applying CarPro Gliss which is a coating topper to my Jeep out there. It's been the first, this is going to be really the first involved wash. I'm going to do some decontamination if it needs it. I'm going to do a little bit of clay bar if it needs it. I'm going to apply this over the C-Quartz because the C-Quartz has been really, really abused this year. We're going to get to it. It's really just a lot of prep, so I'm not going to give you a lot of rundown on what I'm doing. It's pretty obvious. You know, go back and watch my other videos on how I do prep and all that. And <laughs> I am a little out of breath because I've been monkeying around getting the hoses all reset up for this year. Uh, the Crandall's out, the Crandall's gonna be used, so hopefully everything's operational there. And let's get started. <laughs> Step, so I rinsed off the Jeep, so I did a full wash, tires, door jams, rinsed it off with CarPro um, Reset, which is the shampoo you're supposed to use a few times a year for keeping the coating good and strong. Um, so I used that. And the next step is going to be a quick little decontamination. I'm going to be using Iron X, which is also a CarPro product. It removes the iron, so I'm just going to, once I rinsed it, um, I will spray that on and then right after that I'm not going to clay bar or nano skin auto scrub the entire Jeep but I'm going to do um, the bottom of the doors because that is has a lot of overspray and a lot of junk but the top uh, higher part of the Jeep doesn't seem to be as bad I kind of felt it and it felt pretty slick and there isn't anything that I can visibly see um, I will put this a little higher just to see but we'll have to find out So we're going to be applying Tar X, which is just a quick, it's just like Iron X, but this is more aggressive and you don't want this to dwell. So this is what you want to use if you used CarPro uh, Reload, which is a spray sealant that you normally spray on top of coatings. You can't apply CarPro Gliss on top of CarPro Reload, the spray sealant, because it won't grab it well enough. So this will make sure, this is very aggressive, that the CarPro Reload, which is a spray sealant, is not on the Jeep. I applied it a, a, well over a month ago, so we should be okay, but this is just an extra precaution to make sure that the Gliss grabs to the c courts as easy and as best as possible. So this is just gonna be very, very quick. Not gonna let it dwell. I'm gonna do pretty much one panel at a time. It's the same thing as 
Um, iron out, iron remover, except for this is more aggressive. And when you get it in your eye, it burns. Ouch. Did you get it in your eye? I made some of the wind blew it over. Dude. So that's honestly all the time. I mean, you don't need more than probably like a minute or two. So you definitely want to be careful. You don't want to strip the coating and you don't want to like harm the paint in any way. So I don't think it would need much more than that. Okay, iron out is done. This paint, iron out and tar out. Iron out and tar are done. You can feel this paint. It's very, very slick. Um, and actually it's beating a lot more than it was before, believe it or not. So, next step, I'm just gonna use this really quick um, with some soap and water down low here because I know you can hear that. It's overspray. Um, oh yeah, that's real bad. So, that was when I did this. I painted this and I only masked it off so high. Um, this area, doesn't really sound like much, so just down here is where I'm gonna get. Yeah, there is some contamination here. Not gonna do the whole thing though, it's just, for me it's not worth it, this is a daily driver. And we're just gonna get these extra bad areas. All right guys, as you can see, a lot of things have changed in the last few minutes. Um, M3 is outside, Jeep is pulled in the garage because I don't want to apply. Although it is uh, a little overcast, there is still sun rays that come through the clouds. So we definitely want to apply this in a shaded area just like any other coating. Ideally, there's not going to be any sun or the rays. So um, this is, I'm going to treat this exactly like a coating. Technically, it's a coating topper. Should be a little easier to deal with uh, according to what I've read. But this is applied just like a coating in pretty much a two foot area. Two foot by two foot. And then they give you this... Uh, applicator block and then the little pads and the little trick which i didn't know for the longest time is to use like a credit card to press this in here and then for the small areas use another separate one i have a few here but use one of these to sort of uh, you'll have a glove on to you know stick your finger and kind of go along you know the areas that um kind of you know along a little edge that you normally wouldn't be able to get with this block um you know sort of around here this can't bend, so you'll want to be using your finger for an area like that. So that's my little tip, and it should be pretty easy. This is a microfiber, which I will be throwing away once I wipe it off. It should only be a few minutes, and let's get started. All right, guys, so this might be a little weird of an angle, but hopefully um, you can see. Um, this is the microfiber. I'm just making sure there's no dust or anything. Let's do two little lines. Make sure it's wet or that's really like three to four lines. Um, and then two foot by two foot. So I'm gonna start here. cross hatch it just like I would with any other coating C quartz anything like that so all we have to do is wait for it to flash and when it flashes it turns like a white haze I think it tells you exactly what it looks like let's put this back on wait until white haze forms and immediately wipe off all residue so right now there's no white haze, but I do have my detailing light. That will give me a couple little additional angles to see. All right, so I'm gonna do my very, very best to show you. Hopefully you can see um, it is a little bit hazy, kind of, if you can look, uh, the camera has to adjust. So it's really difficult, but there is a white haze. It's, you know, it's been a few minutes here. Maybe in this reflection, you can see it. And then as we go down, there's no, look at those water spots, guys. Those are etched, so don't freak out. Already corrected the paint. I've corrected a lot of this paint, so I'm not gonna touch it anymore. But yeah, that looks like a white haze. So let's uh, try to buff it off in just a second here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to wipe. And it's extremely smooth, I'll tell you that. 
Um, there's not, it doesn't really stick. If you're wondering, like C quartz gets a little sticky. That means um, you kind of waited too long. So you want to get it before it's super sticky. And that's it. I mean, that's actually extremely simple. Um, I can definitely feel that it feels smoother here. I mean, it's not cured yet, but that's that's all I'm going to do. That's just that. Um, I'm going to do the rest of the hood. Hopefully that is good enough. It's, you know, I only wait like just a few minutes here. It looks a little glossier maybe, but the way that looks is not going to be probably a lot different but really the um, water repellent and the slickness hopefully leaving less water on the surface this this cheap gets beat to shit guys as you already know um, it sits outside it does have etched water spots it does have you know scratches there's kind of a few along here and I did correct the paint actually twice since I've owned this and I really do not want to do it again. So I'm trying to do preventative stuff to keep a lot of the dirt off the paint. That's really what this extra step is for. This is much easier than a coating, it can already tell. So let's get to it. I'm gonna finish the hood. I'll show you guys how I good idea of how to apply CarPro Gliss. I will tell you from this hood application, I haven't done the other parts of the Jeep yet. Um, it's much easier than C quartz that I usually do um, coating wise. So it's definitely much easier to work with if you leave it on a little bit too long. It doesn't take much to get it off. And if you do leave it on too long, just kind of reapply, wake it up and then remove it. But even with a little bit of sun kind of breaching the surface of the garage here. I haven't had any issues. I didn't wait too long. Um, there's a couple spots that I was worried about, but they seem to just come off just fine. It comes off extremely easy, just, just with a regular microfiber towel. So it's super easy. Um, it's definitely more slick than um, the other panels. I can feel that it's more slick, but really it's gonna come down to how long is this stuff gonna last. It's supposed to last a year. Um, and also um, just kind of general maintenance. The other thing uh, I'm going to be using to uh, keep this stuff good is this Eco 2O, or Ec 2O I should say, which is also by CarPro and alternatively, I believe you are able to use this reload. But I'm gonna be using um, this, I'm gonna make a a uh, sort of a uh, water mix. I'm gonna, I'll let you guys know in a separate video how to maintain gliss or really any coatings. So that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna bore you guys with coating the entire Jeep. It's really, it is it is a coating, but it's a topper, so it's not, um, it's not gonna bond the same way. You can use this on naked paint. You don't have to have a coating uh, before that you apply this, and it doesn't have to be C quartz, although CarPro's not gonna say that it's gonna bond perfectly to a different branded coating because either A, they haven't tried it, and B, it's really not their problem. So um, online, there's a lot of Q&A about that, but I will tell you I do have C quartz UK, and it seems to be just fine at applying wise. We'll see how long it lasts, and if I can tell the difference, and if it was really worth it. So I'll go into all that in another video. Um, I will link a lot of the products I used today in the description below. This was really a first wash since wintertime in the beats. The Jeep has been beat to crap, guys, as you know. Uh, a decent amount of contamination, some iron, a lot more iron than I thought, um, but you know, that's just what happens when you're driving it all around daily driving it pretty much is what I've been doing. So um, that is gonna be it guys. I'm gonna finish coating the entire Jeep. It's really, really easy. It's quicker and uh, much easier to work with. This car will be lots of attention uh, very, very soon. I don't know if I'm gonna do Gliss on here because the, the, the C-Court seems to be holding up really well because it doesn't see a lot of bad weather. Um, but the gliss really won't hurt. So if I have some time one weekend, maybe I'll do it. Do like a quick little see if it needs any clay or see if it needs anything. Because there are panels that don't have x -Bell or anything like that. So we'll see how those go versus the x panels. So, 
Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it. More detailing stuff on the way as it gets warmer. There's going to be more stuff. And I have, um, hopefully, hopefully, if things work out, um, I'm talking to a few guys about sort of using space in a shop. So I don't know exactly how that's going to be, if it's going to be near me, if I'm going to go there a lot, if I'm going to detail other people's cars, or I'm just going to have the M3 there and stuff like that. So all that stuff's kind of always up in the air, but I'm really excited if I have, like, I know this space works, but it's not ideal. I have to get the hose out and it's a whole, it's a whole production. So stay tuned. There might be some really exciting sort of um, environmental changes for you guys. You'll be able to see a shop maybe full of cars or something like that. So that would be really sweet. Uh, if there's something like that, I can do a lot more of my stuff. I bring all my stuff there. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys next time.